So here we are, Charlotte, in the Harvey Roadhouse, and it's just behind the head office over there at Skipton. Now, we announced the launch of a project here at the back end of last year in 2023. Here we are in summer 2024. Can you remind us why we're here, what we're planning to do, and why? I can't, I can't. Um, so, I mean, why, why are we choosing to retrofit this beautiful house, or it will be when it's done, Martha? Um, I think we all know that we're, we're heading towards a climate crisis. A fifth of UK's carbon emissions comes from our leaky housing stock. This house definitely being one of them. Yeah. Um, we are not on track for net zero in 2050. And therefore, we feel we've got a responsibility within the Skipton Group to support and provide finance or access through propositions and developments for people to green the homes. Um, and so what, when we researched with our membership base, they said it is, it's too costly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, I'm unsure about what to do. Um, and so we thought, well, in order to be able to solve some of those problems and provide some solutions, we'd best have a go at it ourselves and see what we learn. Uh, and then that will inform what we're wanting to do for our members. Yeah, agreed. And we're at a very exciting stage. We're about to be spades in the ground. So anyone looking out of the office window or anyone visiting, if you pop your head out the window, you might see some high vis vests and hard hats. So exciting times, definitely. So we know we are now about halfway through our retrofit project. Um, tell me about what we expect in terms of benefits. Why are we doing this? Where to start? There's lots of benefits, shall we? Which we're excited to mention. Um, first one, we get to work with our lovely group partners. So we've got people in the surveying and evaluation sector. We've got Viper Energy that can look at our EPC for us before and after. Um, we're also working with people that are retrofit assessors in their surveying space. So plenty of partners across the group, which is really nice to learn from them. Um, we want to really turn it back to our customers and our members as well, and our colleagues, and think about if we do risking this for them by doing it, we're going to take on the burden of what if it goes wrong, we'll learn from them and share. We're going to take the costs of it, obviously. It's, it could be quite expensive retrofit, but we're really interested to see what money you would get back in your pocket as well. Also, the cost of running a house like this when it's been retrofit, how much are you going to make in savings from that? How much might it impact the valuation of your house as well? Will you get sort of a return on investment? You know, you spend money on solar or whatever it ends, it ends up being. so. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of opportunities and sort of benefits, I think, from this whole project. Fabulous. So, to say that we're probably got halfway into the project, and it's fair to say we've got some decent learnings already, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. We've been really fortunate to partner with the Strategic University and Leeds University. So they've been able to measure how much heat the building is already losing and how much it would cost us at environment. And then look at if we did put certain measures in, We've worked with an architect to see what the cost savings might be on that as well. So plenty of data already that we've nailed. Yeah, like to see what the opportunities are. Um, and what about some of the challenges? Yeah, there have been some challenges. I mean, I I haven't done massive amounts of retrofit to my own house. I think of loft insulation. So it's all a bit of a learning for me. And I really am sort of experiencing it like a customer would. Yeah, there's a, what does this mean? Tell me how an air source heat punch work. So different kind of insulations, a different kind of solar panel. You're going to be an expert. Hopefully, by the <laughs> end of it, yeah, definitely. Um, but no, it's really exciting. I guess that's one of the things you're most excited about for this. Oh, um, I, think, I think what's really important and what I'm excited to have at the end as an end result is we've been through the process, we'll have navigated some of the challenges and hopefully we'll then have a proposition to be able to provide to colleagues and members I'd like to think hopefully incorporating lots of the group support and work which could potentially be I don't know a one-stop shop for yeah to be able to package and give to our members to make it really easy for them because what we really want we want action don't we we want we want people to um, take action off the back of it and I think all of our learnings and harnessing all of that and being really data-led with rich insight we can have a proposition and a solution to say there you go yes we've cracked it fantastic I agree <laughs>